Mr. Speaker, Canada has had a stellar reputation as a founding member of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Sadly, under this Liberal government, that reputation is being tarnished by the Prime Minister's conduct in the SNC-Lavalin affair as the OECD bribery group is now investigating the Liberal government's actions. When will the Prime Minister recognize that Liberal corruption and stonewalling is harming Canada's international reputation? House Leader. Mr. Speaker, I think it's important that that member recognize that when it comes to the rule of law in Canada, it is intact and it is being followed. We also know that in Canada, we have institutions, offices of parliament that are able to do their work. We know that the Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner is looking into this matter. We have confidence that they are able to do that important work, something that the Conservatives didn't understand for 10 years, and it's clear that they don't seem to comprehend that now. We know that there is an ongoing uh, court case. We will let the independence of the judicial system do their important work because we know that they should. Thank you. Member for Durham. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Foreign Affairs Minister. In her formal response to the OECD, the minister pledged to update them on, quote, independent domestic process currently underway in Canada, end quote, on the SNC affair. How can she claim that the SNC investigation is independent when Liberal MPs are preventing the former Attorney General from testifying? The minister loves to talk about the international rules-based order, so will she live up to her own rhetoric and allow the former Attorney General to testify tomorrow at the Justice Committee? Yeah. Yeah. Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I do indeed love to talk about the international rules-based order because that is absolutely essential for the defense of the Canadian national interest in the world. When it comes to the OECD, Canada is proud of our participation in this important organization. And we have been clear from the start with the OECD that we support their work and we will cooperate with it fully.